Greetings, seekers of the truth, and welcome back to our saga where we remove the facade from the royal life of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. You guys buckle up because we're going to dive right into the latest saga involving Harry and Meghan, and trust me this is a pretty intense one. In this episode, we discuss the uproar from across the pond with Brits calling for their parliaments to permanently ban Harry. Yes, I said that correctly, the British public is beyond tires of traitor Harry and Meghan, and they are making their voices heard loud and clear. But before we go further, I just want to thank you for the incredible support and love, but if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button right now, and don't forget the notification bell. Alright, let's jump right in, and let's start with the latest from the one and only Prince Harry. Of course, following his first visit to his father, Harry of course raced to his next television interview. He first turned up on Good Morning America, where he had his family's dirty laundry aired publicly for a documentary on the Invictus Games. I'm old school, I guess, but flogging your own family in front of a national TV audience does little for fidelity or honor. And the timing? Oh, it speaks volumes as well. For amid Prince Philip's final days, Harry and Meghan found time to talk to Oprah. So media attention over family solidarity during his grandmother's last years? They ventilated that notion with accusations of racism, accusations Harry has, reportedly, since seemed to have a little trouble fully committing to. But then, did he at last, do tell the whole truth last weekend, when it mattered? Far from it. For Harry and Meghan threw their effort into the public sprucing up of their images, in documentaries, podcasts, and books aimed at his own kin. A class act all the way, Harry, truly. But wait, there's more. For on said weekend, they unveiled Sussex.com a portal aimed at making Harry's royal title and crest the frontispiece in their makeover. Because if there's anything humanitarian at its finest, renouncing your royal lineage to go make a private fortune backseat driving your royal grandmother really captures it. Don't you agree? And don't even get me going on their proposition that they drop their bombs to help dear old Pater. Oh, please. It's their quite obvious last-ditch effort to scramble back into the ranks of the working royals, with feet firmly out their mouths. The real plot twist, however, is this. The British public isn't biting. Their olive branches and redemption quests are seen for what they are desperate acts. Meghan still hasn't so much as phoned her own father, and Harry still cannot be bothered to reconnect with his brother. If this is their idea of family solidarity, I'll sit this one out. Thanks. So no, Harry, you are gravely mistaken if you think the charm offensive will end in a triumphant return to the royal fold. The British public has grown tired of your theatrics and very much disinclined to underwrite your privilege and duplicity. To sum up, the Sussex's 15 minutes is just about up. For all their attempts to change the narrative, the world is still not buying their portrait of the impoverished, fractured, hard-done-by couple the two are trying to portray themselves as stateside. All the best of luck with the reconciliation, Harry. You'll need it. What's your take on these latest developments? Drop by our comments section below to leave your thoughts on the matter. Please make sure to continue following us for additional insightful accounts and probing pieces in our YouTube channel. Be sure to show us some love, a like, share, and subscribe on the latest that's been happening with the Royal Soap Opera. We thank you for taking a moment to spend with us. We'll be back shortly with some additional coverage of the Royal Family. So, farewell for just now.